Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the candle chart in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. We need to create a new frame. The range of this box is the size of the chart. After it is generated, click the drawing button. The basic candle chart is finished quickly. Next, take a look at the parameters here. The basic information in this tutorial, as well as the vertical and horizontal lines, have been explained in great detail in the line chart tutorial. If anyone needs it, you can check out the first half of the line chart tutorial. The difference is that candle charts usually have no vertical lines, so this vertical line switch is turned off by default. Next, I will introduce the style of candle chart. The width of the candle is automatically adapted, which is related to the width of the frame. I'll create a new, narrower box. Click the drawing button. The width of this candle will automatically become narrower. You can also set the rising and falling colors here. Below are the stroke settings, including its width and color. The colors of rising and falling prices are different in different countries and regions. You can also remove the stroke. Let me draw a chart without strokes. Okay, I better check it off. Next, let's look at the data part. The data of candle charts are different from other charts. You can set the data range yourself, but for the content of the bottom text, you only need to fill in the starting date and set the number of texts, that is, the number of dates that need to be displayed. Each candle corresponds to a day, showing the rise and fall of that day. I have changed the number to 5, so below shows 5 dates. Next, let's focus on filling in the data values. The data values of candle charts are relatively complex. The data of each candle is composed of this row of four numbers. The first is the opening price, then the closing price, the lowest price, and finally, the highest price. They must be separated by commas. After entering these for data, enter a space. The data for each candle must be separated by spaces. You must pay attention to the format of this data. If you don't need to fill in real data, you can use the random number function. Enter the number of candles here. Click the drawing button. This is what random data looks like. I will change the quantity to 10. Okay, this candle chart has automatically changed. These data can also be entered through Excel import. Clicking on this icon will jump to this website. With written steps, first click this download Excel button to download the template. Then follow these steps on the left. After copying the data, go back to the plugin and paste it into this data frame. This part of the tutorial is over. Thank you.